Hello, this is Rob here from robcoven.com and I want to show you how to set up a membership site with Wishlist Member. So here is my normal WordPress site with a home page and a page with great content on it. So great it's golden. So what I'm going to attempt to do is make this page specifically only available to members or subscribers to the site and later I'll show you how to charge them money to view this valuable content. So we go to the back end of WordPress and we click on plugins and add new. One of the ways you can turn your WordPress site into a membership site is by using the premium plugin Wishlist Member. And if you'd like to buy it through my affiliate link then you could go to my site robcubbon.com forward slash go forward slash wishlist and if you make the purchase through that link I will get a commission and if you don't want to do that of course you can just google wishlist member so if you go through to that link to member.wishlistproducts.com and get started and then you can buy the single site license for $97 and that will get you this plugin to upload the plugin go to upload and choose the zip that they will have sent you after you've made your purchase install activate and once the wishlist member plugin is activated, you will see a new tab on the left hand side of your WordPress administration area. So if you click on that tab, it will say, would you like to use the setup wizard? So let's click yes now. And you'll see here it says no membership levels have been added yet. So we're only going to have one membership level and let's call it general and let's click next. Now it says assign error pages here and I would advise you to get wishlist member to do this all for you but if you wish you could create these pages yourself. So we'll click next here. Again section settings automatically protect all pages we'll leave that at no. Turn hide show protection on we'll leave that at no as well. No will allow non-members to see the page titles but when they click to view they will be directed to the non-member error page. So they'll see the content there and all that looks good click on it and they won't be able to see it. We'll leave those two as is and click next. And the member redirect page is same again. You can select a page that your users see after registering or select a page your users see after they log in. I would leave wishlist member to create these for you and all of these steps can be revised so you don't have to worry too much. Just click save this setup and you'll notice all we did was basically create one membership level and we just went with all their defaults after that showing you how easy this plugin is to set up. Let's go to the pages. Before we only had two pages, now we have a few more that Wishlist Member have created for us. This includes the dashboard, the cancelled page, the oops, this content is members only page, and all sorts of pages that you will need for your users to navigate your new membership site. But now we have a membership site, it's good to create some membership only content. Remember the great content page I had with all the golden stuff on it? We want to protect this page because this page is for for members only. You'll see a new panel in your page edit or post edits page in WordPress. You can protect posts in exactly the same way as you can protect pages. Under content protection you can say do you want to protect this content? Yes, protect this content, members only and select the membership level. Remember we only created one level and we've got to remember to select that. Also here you can enable paper post and I'll show you how to set that up in another video. But at the moment we're just creating a standard membership site. So we'll update that page and go back to the site. You'll notice also that Wishlist Member has added a dashboard page which will be a page that people will automatically see once they have logged into your site and there's a notice here to place the links of your protected content there. So obviously we put the great content link in there. You might not want to have the dashboard in the menu but of course you can move that out if you wish. Here is our great content page, here is the home page and we can view everything as normal. That's because we are logged in as the admin for the WordPress site. So we'll log out now and so now we are just a typical visitor and is looking at the great content and clicks on it. So I like the look of that. Let's go. Oops, this content is members only. I have to register in order to access this content. You have to put a registration form in the sidebar and I'll show you how to do that now. So we've logged back in and we go to appearance widgets. In the widgets, look for this one 
wishlist member which comes with the plugin and of course just drag it over to the sidebar and you can have a title when logged in and a title when logged out so I've just added a couple of titles there you may want to change them or use something else here I would hide the RSS link I would hide the register link that isn't what you think it is it doesn't take you to a page where you can register I will show you how to do that later only display if member is logged in you may decide to check that if you want and I would suggest as we only have one membership level I am hiding my membership levels so we'll save that and go back to the site and refresh and because I'm logged in it says welcome admin and I've got my membership details here that just takes you to the WordPress user profile page and I can log out here let's log out and you have a form with a username and password where as a member you can log in and you've also got a very helpful lost your password link where you you can set up a new password via email but how do the people who want the great content register to get it and to do that you need to get your link to your registration page and I'll show you how to do that so let's log in again and if we go to wishlist member levels and here you see the general membership level that you set up and you have your registration URL so let's copy that URL and why don't we put it in a widget on the sidebar. So let's go to appearance widgets and drag a text widget in there. Let's put it up the top and we can say register here. And of course we've got to put a bit of HTML in here. So I'm going to put ahref equals and in inverted commas I'm going to paste the link of our registration page and then I'm going to close that tag there so I'll save that and let's go back in here we've got our registration page link and in another video I'll show you how to make sure this disappears when the user is logged in so it's all much more intuitive so let's log out and pretend we want that great content of course we could put the register link here in this oops this content is members only page that's a good thing to do as well but let's click it here in the sidebar and let's register okay so this is the wishlist member default registration page and it's a bit clunky you've got to have a username you've got to have a first name last name you've got to choose a password and in another video I'll be showing you how to improve this entering much less information but I'm gonna create a user and I'm gonna call myself Rob because I can call myself what I want obviously if there's a Rob already registered I wouldn't be able to do that I'll put in my details I'll do it with my Gmail address. Obviously, I couldn't do that with the email address I've used as the admin of the WordPress site because one email address can be one member. So I'll put a password in and submit registration. So now I am logged in with the welcome page and of course now I can see this great content but I am registered in as Rob now, I am not admin. So if I go to my membership details I can only see this bit, I can't edit the pages thank God but I can access all of this great content. So as you can see we've already set up a functioning membership site in five minutes. Later on I can show you how to monetize this content in five minutes, you only need your PayPal business account and I can show you how to keep these email addresses in a email subscription list using a company like Aweber. But before I go let's have a look at the back end. Now to do this of course we have to log out and log in again and that's one of the things about creating a membership site you will have to do this an awful lot but it's not difficult with wishlist members so you just log out there and you can log in there. So I'm in as admin now I'm not Rob anymore I'm not the casual user I'm the administrator of the site and if we go back into wishlist member members we now have here I am as admin and here is our new member and the email address the username and we have the first name and last name and we have other information about this member. Here you can create an email to be sent to the user right after they've registered but you can't use this email address for email marketing. You need to create another opt-in email for them to click a link on and I'll show you how to do that in another video. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's how to turn your WordPress site into a membership site in five minutes. I hope that was five minutes. This is Rob Cubbon from robcubbon.com. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.